Great afternoon again, everyone. On this occasion, I'd like to thank you personally for being with us on this sixth day of LACNIC 34 activities. And I'm here to talk to you about Leaders 2.0. So as Maka would have indicated, Leaders is our traditional program to support national, regional, sub-regional, and youth IGF initiatives across Latin America and Caribbean. We institutionalized the support in 2017 by providing a two-part system. One deals with support for local initiatives, be it in terms of advice as to how they will constitute their initiatives in accordance with internet governance principles, advice on funding sources, speakers, and also modest funding from LACNIC. And then the second part of that initiative also dealt with sponsoring NRI coordinators or leaders to participate in the LAC IGF, where they will also have a chance to showcase and participate in wider NRI sessions. And to date, we have supported over 28 of those instances. And with the traditional approach to leaders, uh, we prioritized uh, what we'll call new or embryonic uh, NRIs or IGF initiatives, meaning that um, any initiative that didn't have more than four uh, editions uh, was welcome. But of course, things have changed, and especially this year with the number of challenges that we have faced, and I'm not going to go through those challenges. We felt it's important to make some adjustments to leaders. And in these adjustments, one of the great strategic uh, pivots that we worked on is the idea of supporting intersessional work, what happens between internet governance events. And therefore, we came up with either 2.0, which we can conveniently uh, refer to this uh, version of leaders, where we will be providing funding and mentoring for mini research projects. And by mini research projects, please note what I have here as the second point. We are talking about concise outputs such as short, short digital publications, so a digital publication of about 10 to 15 pages, or a series of podcasts where we, are, we will anticipate probably uh, five podcasts, infographics, uh, videos, animations, and the like. And we intend to host these outputs on a repository on LACNIC's website from the second quarter of 2021 onwards. Uh, we do want that applicants do not duplicate existing work, so it needs to be new and original work, and of course, unique and diverse perspectives of value. So what are the thematic areas that we are considering for Leaders 2.0? We have these three here. Uh, firstly, internet and the pandemic impacts on human rights, where projects may uh, explore uh, the nuances from a community uh, on freedom of expression versus censorship, uh, data protection and privacy, uh, gender issues and the like. We also have digital inclusion, which is very, very important especially this year with the pandemic, where there has been a significant uptick in internet services. So with digital inclusion, whereas we are all focused very, very much on digitization and digital transformation issues, uh, there should be at no point in time the exclusion of all work dealing to bridge the digital divide. And therefore, we are looking at projects that may address uh, connecting the elderly, connecting marginalized groups, affordable internet access, equitable remote education, equitable e-health and the like. And third, but not least, we have security and trust, where we're looking at projects addressing cyber hygiene, trust and the media, cybersecurity practices, st stable and resilient internet infrastructure. And whereas we have these as general guidelines as to what those projects could address, of course, we're looking forward to the ideas that applicants would bring forward to us. So let me share with you now the perspective of a prospective applicant for Leaders 2.0. What you need to do is to have a review on our website, leaders.lacnic.net, of the three thematic areas. Fill out an application that will be done entirely online, and then you await the response from us, which comes two weeks after the end of the call for applications. So I will tell you now the call for applications end on the 23rd of October, which is in exactly two weeks. And then two weeks from that point, 
on the 4th of November, you'll be hearing from us whether your application has been successful or not. Uh, from the 4th of November, we hope that the successful applicants will submit their banking details and begin work. At that time as well, we will assign a mentor to uh, the successful person or persons uh, to conduct their work. Uh, that mentor has a commitment of 10 hours of his or her time to the applicant. So we want it to be as flexible as possible between the successful applicants and the mentor to arrange how they would like to use that 10 hour time within a three month period. And last but not least, you'll be required to submit your work to LACNIC in February of next year. So what are the criteria we are looking at? The criteria, quite frankly, it's very, very, it's some pre-established criteria that we have, we have chosen. And we are looking at the alignment of your proposal to the thematic areas we discussed, internet and the pandemic impact of human rights, digital inclusion and security and trust. We're also looking at the coherence in your problem statement and the approach that you describe that you will take to address that problem. We're looking for original works. Originality is very key in being a successful applicant under Leaders 2.0. Geographic diversity is more than welcome. So we would love to hear uh, from applicants who are not only from countries that have not held IG uh, type events or discussions as yet, but also within larger countries where you may be in a remote uh, community and you feel the need to really uh, do an expose of an issue that's facing you within your community. And of course, stakeholder uh, diversity is also well appreciated. So let me just remind you and emphasize here, you can either apply as an individual or as a group of individual, i.e. collaborators. And as many collaborators that you have, uh, if they do come from diverse stakeholder types, that does give you a stronger um, premise uh, to be awarded under this program. And by way of information, our selection committee will be comprised from, by some very well recognized uh, names, uh, reference persons in internet governance across the region. We have Mr. Nigel Casimir, who is the acting Secretary General of the Caribbean Telecommunications Union and the Chief Convener of the Caribbean IGF. Uh, Ms. Raquel Gatto and Mr. Nacho Estrada, who need no introduction for the wonderful work that they have been doing in this region. They have both been members of the MAG, they've been involved in so many other IG uh, activities at the regional level, like IGF uh, in addition. Uh, and from the staff of LACNIC, we have myself, Kevin Swift, and Paula Otegi. Let me get to the next slide. So who can apply? Anyone. We say mini research projects, but please don't think about this as an, over, as an overly academic project. It's really about anyone who can produce digital content, that can produce concise and informative uh, documents. Uh, if you are an NRI coordinator, university student, you belong to the technical community, or you regularly produce podcasts and animations, this is definitely the program for you. So this is a timeline of how the activities will roll out. Uh, the call for application started on the 21st of September, it will close on the 23rd. And I somewhat mentioned before uh, what this timeline will look like from March 2021 onwards is when we'll be doing promotion of these works, but do note that LACNIC will not explicitly endorse the opinions of the authors of this work. This is really a showcase and a platform for work that you are pursuing that you would like the rest of the region to know so that we can strengthen our knowledge about internet governance issues here within the region, but at the community level. And last but not least, I would like to invite all of you to a webinar that we'll be having next week, Wednesday, Wednesday the 14th of October at 1800 UTC. And in this webinar, we intend to do a more detailed review of Leaders 2.0. And we'll also talk about encouraging and strengthening the participation of the technical community of Latin Americans and Caribbeans and internet governance processes in general. And for that wonderful occasion, will be accompanied by none other than like, um, LACNIC Lifetime Awardee, Lito Ibarra. We also have Raquel, Raquel on that panel as well, and Guillermo Alves in representation of the Youth 
LAC IGF. So I will stop right there and I would like to entertain any questions you may have right now, but I would strongly encourage you to sign up right now, go to LACNIC webinars and sign up for our webinar next Wednesday, where we can have a very fruitful and plenty and abundant uh, or more comfortable conversation, I should say, on the questions of internet governance within the region. Um, so, uh, Maka, is there any question uh, so far? Hi, Kevin. No, we don't have any questions so far. Maybe you want to share your email for future questions. Great. So it probably it was so wonderfully received and understood that everyone understands it clearly and it's it, and i'm going to see lots of applications from all of you here connected on the call if you'd like to get in contact with us please go you can read up more about the initiative right here at this website leaderis.lacnic.net and you can also feel free to write us at leaderis arroba lacnic.net or that's at sign in english and we'll be happy to respond to any queries that you may have do note that we have two more weeks to receive applications so please have a discussion with the folks around you and we would love to receive your application for leaderis 2.0 back to you maka